Hi everyone, I thought I'd share this one with you. Um, since yesterday, I had my a warning light coming on on the dashboard saying stop uh, oil pressure or low oil pressure with a lot of beeping and a uh, big red warning symbol with the oil can. <laughs> and so <laughs> that got me pretty worried really. And I was thinking, no, oh, maybe my maybe my oil pump has gone. I think this car has the balance shaft one, and I'm a bit concerned. Maybe that will go eventually. But um, so my investigation started by trying to, I, th I thought about, I'm going to try and check the oil oil pressure. So I had to search for the switch, which is actually, I'll show you in a minute where that is. Uh, it's not the, not the easiest place to reach. Um, and uh, it's, it, to get the, even the, the plug off of the end of it, it's been really difficult. It's taken me ages and I'm really quite dirty and covered in scratches and bits now, but um, it was quite interesting what I just found actually and in a way I'm sort of more relieved than anything but I'm not 100% sure if that's the problem but I think it is so I really hope it is uh, I'll show you, show you in a minute um, so it's not just that actually I've had about I've had another thing happen with this car last week was the um, airbag passenger side airbag uh, warning came on saying when I, when I did a fault code scan it was saying that the the crash sensor on that side was uh, short to ground so I cleared it it came back again I cleared it again last night and it hasn't come back since so not quite sure what's going on there but I'll keep an eye on that one um, so I'll I'll show you now under the car okay so firstly if you're looking under the bonnet here I've moved the coolant tank out, out of the way here and then um, if I try and film it from here, it's, I can't even see it myself now, is it gone? It's not easy to find it. Might be easy to film it from underneath, but it's it's sort of where the oil filter can is. Uh, above that, there's the oil cooler, uh, the oil cooler, and it's screwed into it above the oil cooler. So. Uh, what I can do is show you the plug. I unplugged it eventually. It took a rather long time. But if I can show you, where is it? I can see it. It's in my hand. That plug is full of oil, which might explain why. The sensor's telling me that there's low pressure because maybe this switch itself is a bit bit ruined. So I'm going to quickly show you underneath the car. Right, I'm looking up now at the at the sensor. Sorry, I'm trying to do this while I'm underneath the car. I'll try and point to it with my screwdriver. But right, there's the oil filter there. And above that, with the plugs off off of it now is where is it? Hold on. I'm pointing right at it there. That's that bit there. Is the sensor pressure switch? I'm not quite sure exactly what size bowl that it, uh, socket or spanner I need to try and get that off. But that'll be the next thing to do. So there we go. Uh, I'm sure it shouldn't be leaking oil into the switch bit into the electrical part. So hopefully, hopefully that's the problem anyway. So I will update you. Okay, so this is one week later and I'm still uh, uh, having to change this sensor. And I, the good thing is, as I know for a fact, it is definitely the sensor that was the problem because it had oil coming out of it. And I've been driving the car for a week with the oil pressure stop warning light on my dashboard. <laughs> okay, so I'm under the car now, so I want to show you um, the only way I could get this sensor out, it's very hard to access. I tried a 24mm socket, a 24mm deep socket, but because there is a, I could try and point with my other hand under there. So because there is a, a pipe there, which is the oil cooler pipe, coolant goes through that. You can't get a socket on there, that's the sensor and that's the pipe. You can't get a socket on top of that to turn it. Um, and then I thought to myself, if I can't get to it with a spanner, I'm going to take off the 
um, oil filter, which is here. Again, another really stupidly hard to, hard to reach place. But luckily, I managed to get a spanner up here after removing a bracket. I'll show you the bracket in a second. You need to move the bracket out of the way um, and then get a spanner on that. And that's turning now, so I can go back up the top, put my hand down and take that out. Um, and I'll show you now. Just, it was just an open-ended spanner, but I'll show you the bracket as well. Hold on. Right, so there's the bracket. It's just two bolts, two 13mm bolts. That goes through the top uh, into the air intake uh, part and that screws onto on the bottom side just onto the, the engine somewhere again both 13 mil bolts there there's the 24 mil socket deep socket that I didn't really need but they cost me about two pounds for being cute so I'm gonna keep that I'll show you at the top now blue wire that was trying to, to trying to ground the circuit to stop me having the warning light but it didn't work so so yeah there's the screw goes in the top of there of that bracket the bottom end goes down there somewhere and now I'm going to remove that sensor which I can reach with my hand down here and just put the new one in and then uh, that's going to be sorting the problem out well, I hope so anyway. <laughs> I mean, I've been driving the car for over for a week now with no problems whatsoever. No, the temperature doesn't go above normal, no strange noises, and the car runs absolutely fine. And um, the fact that there was oil coming out of the sensor um, is pretty much a giveaway, really. Um, so I was quite lucky. I, I wouldn't suggest anyone else do that. I'd maybe get it checked, um, but I was just taking pot luck on mine. Um, I'll show you the sensor in a second. Okay, so here's the oil pressure sensor in question. Finally got it off after a lot of messing around. But uh, if we look inside, uh, it's full of oil. And of course, when it first started to go wrong, uh, giving me the warning light, it seemed to be intermittent. It would come on, it would go off for a little while, then it would come on again. And then it started to come on constantly, so that's what caused me to investigate what was going on. But uh, there we go, I'm quite pleased that it's only that. And uh, there you go, so hopefully that might help some of you out there. And uh, if in doubt, get the pressure checked, because that's you don't want to destroy your engine just on the sake of uh, hoping it's a switch. Like I say, in my case, I was really lucky. Um, thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.